a kaleidoscopic view of Indian cinema includes the pioneering efforts of the father of Indian cinema, Dundiraj Govind Falke, popularly known as Dada Sahib Falke. He directed and produced India's first path-breaking silent film, Raja Harish Chandra, which was released on May 3, 1930. In that era, for women to act in films or theatre was considered a taboo, therefore the female characters in Raja Harish Chandra were played by male actors. Raja Harish Chandra set the genre of the mythological films. The mythological themes proved helpful for the silent films as these stories were already popular. These films, with their atmosphere of the fantastic and religious devotion, would attract huge crowds. Some of the other films based on mythology were Kohinoor Studios' Bhakta Vidur, based on a chapter from Mahabharat, Falke's Mohini Basmasur, Satyavan Savitri, and Lanka Dahan. Lanka Dahan turned out to be India's first big box office hit. This immediate and profound Indianization of cinema created its separate identity even before the dawn of the talkies in 1930s. Cinema began to grow and became more and more popular among the masses, as a result of which a lucrative industry was established. Raghupati Venkaya Naidu was an Indian artist and is credited as the pioneer in the production of silent movies. These silent movies were never completely silent. Music and dance always accompanied them. Gradually, with the technological advance, the era of silent movies ended and emerged the era of talkies. Welcome to the 100 years of Bollywood. This is one of the sets which we have got the permission to do the shoot here. So we are here to have a look on it. The best set and the finest set of the film city. <laughs> This is the film city set and uh, like how the people works here and how the set looks just we are giving you the rough to do so I am sitting with Devanand. He born in 1923 and died in 2009. Uh, he is uh, one of the legends in our Bollywood cinema. Sitting with Shami Kapoor, the best dancer of the Indian cinema. He born in 1931, died in 2011. The last movie was. Right. So as you can see, he is the legendary director of our Bollywood, and uh, his last movie was with Raj Kapoor. The, he born in 1924 and died in 1980s. He was a famous actor, the Kapoor family's 